and I'm going to talk to you how you are going to apply to schools in this country. I'm going to give you a list of some universities. Then I've talked about the tuition already. I will talk about requirements and of course some little things that you need to know or put into consideration. And in another video, I'm going to talk to you about some beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for joining today. You know, like I said in my previous video, that Canada is behaving very funny. Now it's time I need to sit up with a lot of videos that will help everybody on this page. We are close to 50,000 people watching these videos. Please, everybody should click the like button and support me. This is the only way you can support what I'm doing. And if you are new, please share the video as well to inform your friends, your colleagues, your neighbors that there is something here. Now, I am going to be talking about this country. A lot of people do not know about this country, but it is a hidden gem. First of all, you need money if you want to immigrate as a student, but I'm going to come to that, okay? So do not worry yourself. When you graduate from a university in this country, they are going to give you one year to look for a job, apply for the job, then you start working. That is enough time for you to look for a job. And I hope you understand. This is called post-graduation work permit or post-secondary work permit, all right? Or something. Just know that you are going to get one year. Most universities in this country would give you, would allow you to apply without I. E -L -T -S. What I'm trying to say is, for those that come from English-speaking countries, those that come from universities where the language of instruction was English, you can actually study in this particular country if you just go to your school and collect what is called English proficiency. So it's possible. Then most of the schools here charge between 600 euros some 700 some 800 some 1000 to like 2000 euros so this country is not really expensive though you are still going to find a couple of programs that are costing like that will cost like maybe one five two thousand two five three thousand but most at least 75 percent of schools in this particular place cost at least 600 to like 2000 euros per year now hnd students can apply on like students with third class so for those of you who have been asking me i remember a lot of people were asking me on my facebook pages if they can apply with hnd now if you are not following my facebook page go and follow the first one is milton Fonqua. the second one is milton Fonqua's consulting and if you need an appointment with me please do not hesitate to book from the video description box so also remember that if you want to move to this country what you are going to be applying for is called the d visa remember the schengen visa is different you are going to apply for the d visa then when you get the d visa upon arriving in hungary you are going to change the d visa after 30 days that's when you go into hungary maximum is 30 days to change that d visa to a residence permit now do not be illegal abroad please try to be legal so when you go with the visa change it to a residence permit of course you have to register on campus okay it's very important now the country is hungary and i'm going to talk to you how you are going to apply to schools in this country i'm going to give you a list of some universities then i've talked about the tuition already i will talk about requirements and of course some little things that you need to know or put into consideration then in another video i'm going to talk to you about some things that you need to put into consideration and visa application so let's not make this one too long d visa is what you are going to get and you can only get this visa in abuja the embassy is in abuja i'm now talking to cameroonians and other nationals it's possible that you have an embassy of uh, hungary in south africa and in ghana but for people in liberia most liberians they do not have the embassy and i think there should be a hungarian embassy in kenya as well so liberians you have to check where you can go of course if you cannot go they will always take these things on websites of embassies okay like the Swiss switzerland embassy in cameroon most people from gabon and equatorial guinea is it no central african republic equatorial guinea they usually come to cameroon to apply so i'm just using this as an example now remember you can move with your family to hungary a lot of people do not know this but it's very possible now courses remember i said before that you can use 600 to like 2000 euros and some courses go above 2000 euros as well 
to study per year but courses like medicine dentistry and pharmacy they are a little expensive what i mean here is you may find these courses or these programs are costing like six thousand euros eight thousand euros or seven thousand euros or more but do not be surprised these are things that are very expensive if you want to study in hungary it's not possible to apply now this is almost february admissions is going to open any moment from february and march so you have to put an eye on the website i'm going to give to you very soon and the website you need to be checking the website is called take a pen please and copy it down so that you can check it and make sure you read through the website properly the website is called www.studyinhungary.hu so this is a website and on this website there are a lot of things you need to know first remember you can work in hungary and study as an international student some people were saying that uh, oh milton some countries in europe you will suffer in europe bro look in as much as you have the energy in as much as you are pushful if you are in europe you will always succeed i did it in a country which was not in europe a country which was less than one million and i succeeded how did i succeed i paid my tuition fee from a construction job i always use myself as an example those of you who are new to this channel you didn't follow this i started this channel with Cy cyprus information and information from cyprus and that is where i started my journey now remember the website i gave you you have to go to that website and on that website you are going to find a list of universities in hungary pay attention to universities in hungary because it now depends on which program you are looking for how much is the program how many semesters is the program you want to study then you are going to decide on which university to select but of course you are going to find central university in hungary you are going to find the university of budapest and a whole lot of other schools in hungary i will link it down here so that you can put it into consideration guys then on that same website i gave you www uh you you are going to find scholarships scholarships on that particular website include the erasmus scholarship which i think most of the programs are closed already and you will equally find the hungarian stipendum which i'm not sure up till now it is open you have to check i have a video about the stipendum but i forgot if the admissions is still open and there is also the eea grant scholarship and i think this is for european students but again check and there are other scholarships i didn't mention here you are equally going to find programs you can study on this particular website and of course the tuition fee that these programs cost so please verify all of these it is so important and remember the requirements now you are going to find them still on this hungarian uh, on this hungary website alongside the universities and requirements to study in hungary for bachelors you may need the hungarian language and for those who are going for masters you need your cv you need your passport you need your english proficiency i talked about this you need two reference letters then you need your yek or your o levels and a levels if you are going for bachelors then for masters you need to add a copy of your bachelor's degree and the transcript to this application i hope you understand remember i said third class students can apply to hungary and of course students with at least a result which is not good and hnd can equally apply Make sure you check the universities and make sure you check the requirements. Hungary universities or schools in Hungary are not that crowded. So you can easily get admissions. Remember that in Hungary, they mostly use ECT as credit units. They look at credits to evaluate you, not your CGPA. That is why you see most people in Hungary studying something different for masters than their bachelor's degree, which means that you can study maybe communication if your bachelor's degree was economics they just have some ects like the credits they are going to look at some courses you did and put the credits into consideration before giving you an offer so hungary is a place you can consider right now also remember that when it comes to proof of funds please you need at least eight thousand euros which is like five thousand five million two hundred plus let's just put it at five million three hundred 
but you need at least 8,000 euros after your tuition have been paid. Remember, tuition is not very expensive. So definitely you are going to pay your tuition before you can do the other things. I hope this video helps you. There are other things you need to put into consideration. Okay. And I think that, like I said, the end of February is the best time for you to apply. Remember, it's going to take at least 15 to i think 15 to 16 weeks or is it 13 13 to 16 weeks or 14 to 15 weeks for you to study this is the time and they have two intakes there is an intake that usually start i think it is october november for application against the spring intake of 2024 and those that want to go for winter 2024 you have to start your application by Jan february march it's usually around february march so please put all this into consideration and remember that appointments you can only go to the hungarian embassy through appointments it is not like you just go anyhow as if it's your parlor no so i'm going to be dropping the next video to talk about visa application and some little things you need to know till